In this video tutorial, I will be showing you how to add scroll effects to your Adobe Muse website. So let's begin. I've created this site for this tutorial. And if you notice, what this website does is if you scroll down, we have fruits coming in from right to left. We have apples coming in from left to right. And we have another fruit coming in from right to left. Now I think this adds a little more flair to the site, a little more interest, and it's kind of a cool effect. Um, so you just scroll, and we have that effect coming in from different directions. Okay, now I'm going to show you exactly how I did this. I'm going to open Adobe Muse and open the project file. This is the project file that we're working with. So I'm going to hit Command, Shift, E, and we'll notice it's just that same website I showed you with the scroll effects and I'm going to show you exactly how I did this. Okay. Now the first thing I'm going to do is delete these images because I'm going to start from the beginning. And just as a side note, for those of you, if, if your Adobe Muse looks a little bit different, uh, it just means you need to update your Adobe Muse. They just released a new version uh, on June 18th, I believe. And uh, it has a new look, a new interface, uh, new features. Uh, it's very it's very nice. Um, it looks more like Adobe Photoshop or Illustrator, and it just has some new features, and I'd, I'd recommend updating it. Um, and plus, you can follow along with the tutorial, and it'll look the same for you. Okay, so, so now I'll continue with, with the site. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is add the images, and I want to put them in the place where I want them to end up, like the final destination after the animation. So just put them in, in a nice spot, as if you weren't even going to add anim animation. So I'm going to first add this fruit right over here. And to add images, you just click and drag the image into Muse and click into Muse. Okay, and I'm going to shrink this image down to about 35% of its original size. Okay, it looks nice. It fits nicely right there. And then I'll add the apples. So I'll just go over here so you can see it. Uh, these apples right over here. And I'll make it to about 45% of its original um, size. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'll just place it right over here. That looks good. Maybe a little higher. That looks good right there. And then I'll add one more fruit. Let me just scroll down. So what I do is uh, I click, hold, Hold the mouse key, uh, click, and drag it into Muse, and then click again to place it. All right, and I'm just going to place that right in there. All right, that looks good. Okay, so we have our images in place, and I'll just minimize this here. And if I hit Command Shift E, I can preview it. And as you can see, I have my images in place, and there's no motion on them. Okay, so we're going to add some motion to to them. So to do this, what we do is we click on the image. Over here to the right, we have what's called scroll effects. You just click that. And to add motion, we just click motion. Now you'll notice when you click motion, this, what's called a key position, appears above the image. All right? And it's just kind of a line attached to the image saying uh, when you hit the top of the browser, when this key position hits the top of the browser, st uh, stop the animation. Like... Uh, we want the animation to be complete by the time it hits the top of the browser. And then once it hits the top of the browser, the final motion kicks in, and it says, do this after uh, Muse hits that key position. Okay, so if I make this key position taller, what will happen is, all right, do a specific effect, and once you hit this key position, be done with the effect, and then do something else after it hits the key position. Okay? So it's just relative to the top of the browser. All right. So I'm going to show you what this looks like. Uh, right now we have the, the vertical sc scroll speed set to zero, the horizontal coming in to the right at one, and after it hits the key position, uh, we want it to, to, uh, to scroll with the rest of the website. All right. So, yeah, that's pretty much. And, and you want to remember that uh, that this image is always going to reach its final destination 
uh, and then it's going to kick into the final motion. Uh, I'll go ahead and explain it. I know it, it can, you know, it takes a moment to kind of grasp all of this. So just take your time with it. You know, if you need to watch this video a few times or just, you know, uh, kind of play with, with, with this effect to kind of really understand it. So I'm going to hit Command Shift E and I'm going to show you what is happening. Okay. So that's not the desired effect, but I can explain to you what is actually happening in Muse. Uh, so basically, because we set a scroll, an initial scroll speed at zero, this image actually is not moving up or down. It looks like it's moving up or down, but it's actually not. The background is moving up and down. The rest of the site is moving up and down at a speed of one. Uh, that's one thing, important thing to remember. The default speed of the vertical website, a vertical scroll is one. So this website is scrolling at a speed of one. This image is not moving, so because uh, it doesn't have an initial scroll, it's set to zero. But we do have it scrolling sideways at a speed of one. So this image <clears throat> is the key position. We set it to you know this height relative to the top of the browser. So uh, it's actually staying flush with with the picture. The key position. All right, like let's say the key position is is this right here is right here. Okay, let's do that. Okay, this is the image, this is the key position, and right here is the top of the browser. So the background is moving, and the image is moving at a speed of one. All right. Okay. If there was no background, you'd just see the image go like this. If it was just all white, the image would just go like that. But because the background moving is moving, it has the effect of the image actually moving down too. Okay, so that's what's happening. And uh, because so Muse knows that the image, the image was initially placed here. Like this is the final motion, is right here. So Muse calculates, okay, the image needs to be in this position, in order uh, for for Muse for in order for the image to scroll at a speed of one. The image needs to start right here okay now if we set the scroll position lower the image is going to start higher because remember this is relative to the top of the browser so the image starts higher you know relative to the top of the browser and it's just scrolling sideways till we get to the final final point to the final destination you notice the image is more to the left as well because Muse is calculating that image needs to be so far from the final point in order for this scroll effect to work. Okay? That's just a little kind of overview of it. You know, again, I'd recommend playing with it to really grasp it and, and understand it. Uh, so that's what, what that's doing, but that's not the, the, the desired effect we want. We want to scroll in from the right and you know just scrolling from the right and then end up at the at that uh, spot right here so to do that we set the scroll speed initial to one so now this image is relative to the entire web <coughs> website excuse me to the entire website so the image is going to stay in that position because the website is scrolling at one the image is scrolling at one so the image is not going to move up or down it's going to stay relative to the entire website so if we preview that we can see the image doesn't move up or down. It's just everything is at a scroll speed of one. The only difference is, is that we set a scroll speed of one from the initial point. So the image has to uh, be positioned differently so that it can complete that scroll effect uh, to, to the final destination. Okay. And what's going to happen. And this is, this is interesting. So now the key position is working kind of in a different way. What the key position is doing is saying, okay, so I know the key position is set to a certain height. Uh, yeah, it's set to a certain height. Um, so once it hits the top of the browser, you know, stop scrolling left and right. Uh, once you hit the top, I want you to be done with that sideways animation. So, you know, the image has to start over here at, you know, at this, at this point in time on the site in order for it to complete the left to right animation. 
and once it hits the key position at the top of the browser the image stops scrolling left to right and then the final motion kicks in and it scrolls with the web rest of the website let me show you if we set the scroll speed to zero what this image would do after if we set the final motion to zero so this is the vertical scroll these two buttons right here we set it to zero hit enter and let's preview that alright so that image is actually not moving anymore so it moves from left to right the initial movement and then after it hits that final destination where we place the image it stays there because we said hit that destination but don't move don't scroll with the rest of the site okay hopefully this is making sense um, alright so we click again uh, on the image now what I want the image to do is scroll is be relative to the rest of the site but just scroll from right to left at a speed of one okay so it's going to go from right to left at one so to do that again right over here these buttons are control the vertical scroll and these below control the horizontal scroll vertical scroll horizontal scroll okay so if we want the image to come in from the right to to left and uh, you know not move up and down we want to set the whole image relative to the speed of the site so the initial motion is set to a scroll speed of one uh, the sideways motion is going to go from we want it to go this way so we make that we click on the arrow that's pointing this way and the final motion we want to set to one because once it's done scrolling horizontally when it hits the uh, hits the key position at the top of the browser it's going to be done scrolling horizontally and then it's going to scroll with the rest of the site. All right, so let's preview this. And voila, that's the desired effect. So as you can see, the image isn't scrolling up or down. It's staying relative to the site because the whole site is scrolling at a speed of one. But we do have a scroll motion from right to left at a speed of one. And as you can see, it hits that key position. You can't see the key position, just but just picture it. It hits the top of the browser, and then it stops and then it scrolls with the rest of the site at a speed of one okay so that's uh, scroll effects it does take a moment to kind of get used to it but just keep messing with it you you know open a new site and just practice with the scroll effects I'm gonna do the same for the Apple okay we want it to come in from the left to right so I'm gonna put click on the motion the vertical scroll speed we want it to be relative to the site uh, we want it to scroll in this way, so it's already set there. I have the arrow key. Click to scroll this way at a speed of 1. And the key position, <clears throat> I'm going to put kind of in the middle. So we want it to kind of start earlier. It's going to start earlier over here on this side. And the same with this one. I want it to start a little bit earlier kind of on, on this side. So this is the website. It's going to start like more on... On that side so it can meet the key position with the browser all right and this one same thing we want it to come in from right to left so we click here this arrow is going to go left we want it to scroll relative to the site at a speed of one final motion scroll with the site as well and scroll at a speed of one from right to left all right so that's pretty much it that's that's all we did right to left speed of one left to right speed of one right to left speed of one all right very nice and that's all there is to the scroll effects again play with it kind of mess with it get used to it it is a kind of, it is a bit of information uh, I understand it did take me a moment to kind of just work work with the scroll effects and, and get it working but you can use this this effect in many different ways and it does add a nice touch to your website and used correctly or in a nice way you can make your design really come to life and really wow your clients with some really nice effects alright so that's the end of the video if you like this video please subscribe below to velveteenwebdesign.com and I'll see you in the next video thanks